Oh. So. <laughs> oh, are we, are we, are we on? <laughs> We're eating lunch. <laughs> We're eating lunch um. at our favorite spot. <laughs> Across from Curtin Avenue. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's five dollar foot long at Chipotle. No, the thing is I ordered, I was like, he was like, what kind of beans do you want? And I was like, can you mix them? And he gave me two servings of beans. Oh, okay. This is gonna be that looks wet. crazy. But also <gasps> <gasps> She's leaking. Okay. Do we? Okay, we have napkins. So. I feel like I need to take off my jacket. I feel like it's gonna get messed. Oh my god. Uh, is this is just like. This is okay. The shit I'm about to take. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh my god. There's no way to mix it up. Like, I always try to do the, the clothes and then Abani shake. Abani does that really well. I, d I can't do it. She does it well. I can't find. I can't figure it out. The guac always gets stuck on the lid. Do you eat it like... Are you a, you're a mixer? I'm a mixer, yeah. I'm not. Like, I want... When I get a bowl, I just like... That's cray. <laughs> That's so cray. Like, eh. That looks good. The whole un... I'm watching Squid Games, I mean, the, you the challenge. What is that? The reality show. Oh, wait, there's a reality show? It is so good. Is like, it? I'm not even kidding. I'm like obsessed with it. Wait. Um, <laughs> and yeah. I didn't even watch the real Squid Game. Oh, the real Squid Game was, like, I know everyone was obsessed with it, and I was like, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it? I think there's 456 contestants. That's a lot. Somewhere around that number. I know it's 400 something. And then they're competing for four point, like four and a half million dollars. So they're like actually killing people on the show. Like, it's like a paintball. It actually is real life Squid Game. No, I'm not kidding. You have to watch it. Is it Korean? Mm-mm. What? Where, what is it? It's American. Oh, it's on Netflix? Yeah. They have the guy from TikTok with the mullet and the really fat ass. You're losing me. <laughs> <laughs> Rooting for him. <laughs> Good for him. I love that for him. No, but like the actual people I'm rooting for are the mother and son. Okay. Are there teams or is it like. No, they're all in it like solo. Oh. There's a literal 432. Oh. Is a villain. <laughs> He's evil. When they get to like the cookie challenge, this like one kid. <laughs> oh, is it like the actual challenges they do in Squid Game? Yeah. Oh, this Lord. one kid like literally is having a panic attack where he's like, <laughs> I'm just like trying so hard not to throw up because <laughs> because he got the umbrella. Oh, the umbrella's fucked. That's so fucked. I feel like they plan that. Well. It was his choice. I knew he care. Choose to choose. <laughs> I would, okay. Why would why? You have to watch. <laughs> and then if you lose, they shoot you in the face or? Mm -mm. It's like a paintball dart. Oh. <laughs> no, and then like you, they like play dead. <laughs> oh shit. Like bleeding from the mouth. Fake blood. <laughs> um, but because there's so many of them, I'm on the third challenge right now, which they're playing like live action battleship. Uh, Look at the person next to us, he's doing the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine solo, he's just staring at oh no, he's watching stuff. He's just like watching a show. Good it for seems him. like that's um, actually lit. Should we invite him in? <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy, you seen Squid Games? Mm. Okay. I'm, I haven't even taken a bite of this yet. <laughs> like, I'm literally trying to fucking mix this. So I'm on the battleship one. Yeah. And, like, because there's 400 of them, 
like they have to choose like captains. Okay. This one girl was like, I think you've all been underestimating me. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I didn't know she was on the show. Never seen her. <laughs> She was like, yeah, I have one of the highest IQs in all of London. Oh, I guess she's British, so. Okay. And she, like, annihilates it. And I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I was like, you just planted her ear. Who is this woman? If she wasn't on the previous challenges. <laughs> I was thinking about rewatching Skins totally off topic. That would, I think, make me kill myself. I think so. But I want to do it. I, I wish. Need to, I need to feel something. <laughs> again. I wish I applied to Beyond Squid Games. You should have. Next year, baby. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be doing it multiple times. Is it? Oh, this is it? This is like the one and only? If there's another season, I am applying. How do you like get on? Like, what are the credentials? I mean, I don't think there were any. Right. Just there seems to be no one with disabilities, though. <laughs> or like... That's like how it be. Like, whenever I watch Survivor, it's like all the challenges I fucking hate Survivor because all the challenges are like physical based, and then there are those guys, there's those like nerdy people who like aren't really athletic and they always fucking lose. <laughs> and then Ooh! is it spicy? Is the hot sauce hotter? Okay, yes. Do you get the <laughs> red one? Yes. No, the hot sauce is actually fucking flaming. So <laughs> I don't know what they've done. Um, I've like never watched Survivor, but I know it's a popularity contest, and I get really, really annoyed. And everyone's everyone. A lot of them are very dumb. It's very interesting. It's I like, feel like as a fan of reality TV, I would like probably like it a lot. You would. But I don't care about like surviving off nature. No, that's like, like if Survivor like took place in like an office. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they like kind of survive off of nature. That's like not no, necessarily I don't like a. That's not like a big part of the show. Don't they get like a bowl of rice a day? They do. And they like casually mention, they're like, yeah, we're running out of rations. Anyway, back to the challenge. <laughs> Just found my immunity fucking <clears throat> pendant for the week. That's like naked and afraid. Naked and afraid. It was actually so wild. Like imagine just being- What are you trying to prove to yourself by doing that? I don't know. I don't know, but they all lose like 40,000 pounds because they just don't eat. Wait. Because they're like starving. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> like, yeah, everything is like poisonous. We can't eat anything. I had to be naked in the woods. I think, like, what? I wouldn't even try. I just like sit down. And like, it's always like a man and a woman. And like, what do what do the women do like when they have their period? Like, what do they do? They don't go into that because it's probably heinous. They probably like have them track their menstrual cycle. But it's a, it's, it's a month though. It's a month? Yeah, they stay out there for like three no, months. No, you're killing me. Wait, <laughs> you're lying. I thought they were there for like a week. <laughs> no, okay, maybe like 28 days or something. Oh my God. They're out there for a while. And like, sometimes they work well together, but sometimes they like. Oh. Oh. It's not my best, but we really work well together. Here. I love this one. You look so cute. It's not my best, but we really work well together. <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> um, no, sometimes they literally fight and like hate each other, but then they'll have to like cuddle for warmth in the nighttime. <laughs> it's like <laughs> such a weird fucking show. <laughs> You know what show I think I would like eat on? What? Deadliest Catch. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> like, put me on the boat. <laughs> Have that trout gobble me up, man. I think. Like, I could be on the boat for like morale. Like, with a coxswain? <laughs> um. Like, just calling it? I would be there. I would be chilling. No, oh, it could be like a stew. Oh, below deck. I could oh do that God. with ease. Yeah. Realistically, I think like the reality show that I guess I could like go on. The Real Housewives. Is... <laughs> um, yeah, if they accept me. Um, would be like Big Brother. Yeah. But I have no idea 
how the game works at all. I don't get, like, I would be so bad strategically. See, like, I don't, it's weird because it's like you win games and shit, but you get, like, voted off by, like, the viewers. Right. So, I don't know, like, I also don't know. You just have to be liked. Yeah. So, but then... You get eliminated? I don't know either. Like, I think Celebrity Big Brother like needs to be a thing. They had Frankie Jonas on once. Frankie, Not Frankie jo Jonas. No, I watched Frankie, Frankie Grande. Grande season. I did too. Um, Loki wishing you and that guy got married. We would. <laughs> what? He's like gay ship. Oh, no, him and what's his name? Okay. I'm just gonna clean up my car after this. <laughs> um, Wait, you're talking about Zach? Yeah. What about him? They were like gay. Were they actually gay? Yeah. I thought it was just like the fans wanted it. No, he like came out after the show. Wait, is he? Did he? I think he's bi. Oh, dead. Mm. I remember that so fucking. Um. Funny. And then he was like, I'm Frankie Grande. And he was like, how could you and lie to me? Like, Who? <laughs> everyone was like, okay. No, literally. I was like, I remember that. And then on Celebrity Big Brother in the UK, Courtney Act went on and won, but she also had a gay ship mm. with, I think his name was Andrew. Okay. I've watched so many compilations of their relationship. <laughs> fucking fan edit. It is like <laughs> such a love story. I love like fan made edits with like some random ass song in the background. Like, you know, I have to. You know, those YouTube ones? You know, Lord. like the Lex Luthor Clark Kent one. <laughs> the four minute fucking epic. That, is... that was one of some of the best editing I've ever seen. No, like, actually, I hope that person's like really like employed. I, I fucking. I forgot the fucking song too. It was like. Oh no. I Wait, I need it. to watch that. Oh, it, oh my god, wait. It's coming to me. I have to think about it. But it was fucking iconic. Clark gave birth to a cat and then died. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Saltburn last night. Okay. I've been hearing about that too. Is that good? Um, did you see Promising Young Woman? No. Okay. I hated that fucking movie. Okay. It's made by the same person. Um... It was much better than that one. Um, I didn't okay. know it was gonna be so... Sexual? Mm -hmm. Well, not that I'm complaining. Um, Barry Keoghan, like, drinks Jacob Elordi's cum out of the, the tub. The tub? He, like, jerks off in the bathroom and he's, like, watching him. Okay. Ah! He's, like, watching him, like, secretly. And then, like, when he gets out of the tub, Barry goes in and is like <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's ew. Not in the bathwater. Like I get it. <laughs> like I get it. Hi Richard. <laughs> that wasn't even the worst thing that happens though. In the in the film? Oh, you'll get a kick out of this one. He hooks up with Jacob Elordi's sister. Mm. And she's like, and he like goes to finger her. Okay. And she's like no stop like it's not the right time of the month and he's like i'm a vampire oh, and that ain't a turn on he like digs his hands in there smears it on her neck and then puts his fingers in her mouth i would <laughs> <laughs> fucking throw up on site i would throw up i would throw mm -hmm. up like that's not do you have you ever seen you've never seen but it, it's not just blood in there it's like gobbly gook. Ah! It's like the fucking membrane. Mm. No. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Jacob already dies. Okay. <laughs> and then maybe Barry, that's why Barry fucks the grave. The grave? Like the Stone? dirt. Mm. Is that comfortable? It's like fresh dirt. He starts crying on it, and then all of a sudden strips and just starts fucking. Mm. <clears throat> He has a big dick. How? What do you get out of that? Like, 
I can't imagine you can't even get off the fucking dirt. Um, I'm sure you can. It seems like it would hurt. Like the chafing. It was very like soft. Maybe if it's muddy. It was kind of, yeah. It was but soft. like that mulch? Uh, like that's some splinter. No, no. <laughs> it was much more Neural, like Neural. dirt. <laughs> Okay, I'll put it on the queue. Um, I'll watch it with my mom. Rosamund Pike was really good. Was she? I love her. She's in that like really ridiculous like. Um, oh, it's, it's like the Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. They had me in like the first four eps, and then. Mm. I got my first taste of guac. <laughs> That's why I don't get a burrito, <laughs> man. Because, like, everything is in one place. Mm, I know. <laughs> I just tasted soap. <laughs> Cilantro. <laughs> no, I think it was soap. <laughs> no, it actually tastes like soap. That's the cilantro gene. No, but I've tasted cilantro and been, like, good. <laughs> I love cilantro. I do, too. Wait. Wait, that like just, is that, is this my life now? That tasted like actual, not even kidding. Like, Wait, find another piece. Like, try and get like just. Cilantro? Oh, yeah. This happened to me too. I was out to dinner with my sister and my family and like, it was like a pizza place. And there's pizza, it wasn't cilantro, but it was like a cilantro cousin. that was like on the pizza. <laughs> And I literally like took a like bite arugula? and like no, it was like it started with an M, I think. I'll look it up, but I I bit into it and I literally spit it out because it tasted like Irish, <coughs> that Irish like green dish soap. I used that. I know. I spit it out. Yeah. It was like <laughs> my mom was like, "What? It's yummy." So maybe my life has changed. Yeah, that's fully soap. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. No! Are you, like, do they have plain rice? Petrol plain rice? rice? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I can get the cauliflower, well, no, it's discontinued, so I can't get the cauliflower rice. Oh, that was so gross. It was really bad. It was, like, sopping wet. Like, I mean, if you're getting Chipotle, like, I appreciate the healthy options. But I feel like if you're going to a fast food place, just full send it. Right. You know, what I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Chipotle has that problem. I feel like a lot of their things are, like, wet. Yeah, that's true. The cauliflower, the sofritas. Wet. Is, like. Dripping. Yeah. Did you hear that? No. I just looked behind us and there's a fucking truck just parked in like 40 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Mm hmm. Did you. Uh, oh my god. I should have gotten a Sprite. That was my folly. I should have got a Sprite too. I didn't know that they didn't have drinks. <laughs> I mean, who would have known? I bought a ticket to Primavera. Fun. When is that? June. Where is that? Spain. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's fun. So I have to figure that out. Mm -hmm. You should try to come. Okay. The lineup is so good. Who's in it? Lana Del Rey is the headliner. Love already. Um, Charlie XCX. Kim Petras, Troy Sivan, mm -hmm. A.G. Cook, Dorian Electra, Hannah oh, sure. Diamond, um, FK Twigs. Nice. No, it was like the best lineup I've ever. Wait, I need to look it up. That sounds really good spot. I, I, but that's where I went last year. It was the best festival I've ever been to. Oh right. Like Govball, Gov could never. <laughs> Remember when Govball was the absolute shit? I went, I think like six years in a row. Yeah. Like that was- I feel like I've seen like 
recent GovBall lineups, and they've been, like, ass. Yeah, I agree. The one last year, like... SZA. Nice. Phoenix, Mitski, Vampire Weekend. Phoenix, Mitski? Arca. What? Wait, this is... Uh, Ethel Kane, 070 Shake, Omar Apollo. Wait. <laughs> the Blessed Madonna. <laughs> Faye Webster. Okay. Jai Paul. Dude. Yeah. Get into it. Wait, that's so... Like, actually try. <laughs> Bro, if I don't have shit for work, like, maybe... Oh, this is what I'm most excited for. The Micah Levy DJ set. The person who did the score for Under the Skin. What? <laughs> That's lit. Like, I need her to play the score for Under the Skin. <laughs> Blast that shit. No, I would. That sounds fucking epic. Is it just you? Yeah. Nice. Gutball died when they left Randall's Island. Randall's Island anymore? Where are they? They're at fucking City Field. What? Last uh, time I checked. City fucking field? Yeah. I'm not going to a festival that's in a parking lot. No, dude. Like, you know. Like, City Field's a good place for a concert. Like, for one concert, you know? Not for like a whole ass festival of concerts. I don't even know where they are. I think it's it. so awkward. I don't even understand. Yeah. Like, I'm not even able to visualize that. I think it's like, like the minor stages are like in the parking lot, and I think like the main stage is in city in like city field. The stadium. But I don't think it's the stadium. Like I don't think they use that space. What? <laughs> what? I think they use like the field. So like no one's in the stands. No, no, I don't think so. People are just standing. Mm-hmm. In the fucking like. <laughs> in the fucking like <laughs> field that ain't it to be honest with you yeah when it was on randall's island that was like an adventure the trek over the bridge <laughs> so fucking treacherous i remember like getting out <laughs> at night <laughs> was like actually a hellscape i can't believe i did that like multiple times i remember like maybe it was after travis scott were you there? No, you were there. It was like Travis Scott and like, it had torrentially poured. Travis Scott was there? Yeah. Yes, Travis, okay. There was one year where it was like. I saw him in Tampa. There was one year <laughs> where, cause I went twice. Was that senior year? Senior year was Lord. And <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was Chance the Rapper and Childish Gambino, like, back-to-back. Mmm. -back. Actually, no. Every time I go to a festival, Lord's there. Like, sorry, she's not gonna be on this one. She was at it last time. No, actually, I'm lying. I think Lord, after Lord, it was Travis Scott. That was when we were really high. <laughs> and, like, don't remember a shit thing. I was gonna say, if, <laughs> if someone came on after Lord, I was not there. Because I think it was Travis Scott, and then it started like torrentially raining, and then Sheck West came out, and Avani, no one knew who Sheck West was, like at this point, and Avani was like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> you know. I don't know who that is. You do. Um, you do. He had um, Mo Bamba. Oh. I like that song. Yeah, but like, like Avani. What you? <laughs> literally. <laughs> Avani was like, oh my god! And like everyone else was completely silent. Um, I feel like and then, the <laughs> amount of drugs I've consumed on that island <laughs> could like kill an elephant. <laughs> I remember like Ray Shremmered, you had like just taken like, what, what was it, like Adderall? No. Ray Shremmered? Yeah. And you were like, <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> and it was like maybe four o'clock. <laughs> like it was I remember smoking and then <laughs> playing mini golf and Boy, literally losing sense of hearing. Oh no, because you were, I think you and Pat were playing and like me and Armani were just standing. I don't know what we were doing. I think I got a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember a, a good amount of that actually now that you're saying it. 
I think freshman year. I think the best set I saw at Golf Ball was Gasaffelstein, which I was alone. <laughs> I and that time we we like were like miles away from James Blake, but like dropping us. Yes, <laughs> yes. What happened to Khalid? Where is Khalid? Like he was so. I think about that so often. Like whenever I hear like yum yum, young dumb and broke. Oh. <laughs> or no, he like that. He had that album in like 2017 or like 2018, and then. Does he like do he, anything? I don't know. I he was like featured on some stuff, and I haven't seen him in like literally. A double wrap burrito sucks. <laughs> it looks rough, like I won't lie. I won't lie to you. I might save this for later. Mm. I don't know. I'm reaching a point. I'm hitting my breaking point, I think, maybe. Before this yeah. year, like I hadn't been to like a real ass concert in so long, probably since Go Ball. Before what? Before like this year. Oh really? Yeah. I'm always at a concert, it seems. <laughs> That's lit, though. I'm at Competris. That, I can't even believe. I can't... I can't even believe that. She was so sweet. I love her. I bet she was. Everyone was like, oh, like, flop tour. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> oh, this is like one of the most lit concerts I've ever been to. <laughs> Everyone around you is like, uh, flop tour. <laughs> While you're like, ah! Like, the guy next to me was like, you know all the words. And I was like, I am a fan. Well, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I bought tickets because I like the, the he was artist. Like, I only know like three songs. I was like, why are you here? No, literally. That doesn't make any sense. If to I me. know like three songs of someone and it's I'm not like at a festival where like. Yeah. I would never go to someone's show. No. Or like if maybe if someone was like, oh, I have an extra ticket to this, do you want right. to come? Right. That's why I went to Travis Scott. But Right. But like, I'm not gonna be like, I oh. would never, like, if I'm going to a concert, one, they're like expensive as fuck. They are. So. No, yeah. I best know every word. No, I agree. That was straight. That, that like pissed me off. That was soapy. Oh. <laughs> no, that's soap. I can't. I'm so angry. Mm. No, that would piss me off too. I'm satisfied with that last bite. I, Connor's friend, does like lighting design for different oh, artists. So cool. Yeah. And he got tickets to the Johnny Brothers, like when they were in the Yankee Stadium, and I was like, okay. There you go. I got I fucking went. I literally came alive. I literally was like, yeah, because they like they were so good. This was like right before the Sophie Turner. Well, yeah, thing. what's going on with him and Sophie Turner? I don't know. Apparently apparently like he spoke out first and like tried to kind of like control know, the narrative control the narrative which like i was on tiktok and a lot of people were like there was like this woman who's like a divorce lawyer and she was like usually people who do that like are in the wrong right um and like the <sighs> usually the party that stays silent is the party that's you know in the right and i was like makes sense it makes sense to me but apparently he, apparently too, you know how Sophie Turner was like really good friends with like Maisie Williams because they were on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> like they got like a matching tattoo. Like I was big into their friendship. And then- Oh, is it a Carly Claw situation? Like kind of. Um, But apparently they had a threesome with Joe Jonas. And like Joe Jonas was also fucking Maisie Williams. And that kind of, Where'd you hear that from? At the biggest <laughs> sources? TikTok. Oh. Well, there was also an, an interview where they were driving and they were talking about Joe Jonas's penis and how it was small. <laughs> Thanks for watching our <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later.